600 bucks a day. Some even going for a thousand, we're hearing, and we're not even talking about hotel rooms, but rental cars, daily rates for a car in Hawaii right now. Sarah Madison has more. Paradise Rent a Car tells us they've been crazy busy, and you can tell just by looking at the lot, which is almost empty. Seems like the island has gone from zero to 100 overnight. When mid March came around, LeBaron says business just exploded. You can't keep cars in the lot right now. The phones never stop ringing. The people never stop coming in. For every car I rent, there's another 50 or 60 people getting denied because there's no cars. You can hear the stress in people's voices. Many rental car companies had to sell or ship some of their vehicles back to the mainland when the industry was crushed for the past 12 months. It's hard to forget the image of hundreds of unused rentals that sat at Aloha Stadium. Nine months of no car rentals. You start getting rid of your cars, you know. You try to cut your overhead down. With low supply, the industry can't keep up with the pent-up demand. And rebuilding a fleet of cars doesn't happen overnight. It's just a long process because a lack of cars to buy on the island right now. Because everybody's buying cars. This is also causing prices to skyrocket. We've been checking online, Expedia, uh, Hertz, different rental companies, and the prices are just astronomical. Some of the prices as high as about $600 a day for rental car. Hunter says it's ridiculous, but if they can find a rental car, they will probably pay it. We're here on vacation, so we want to be able to get around. So just have to pay the price. Sarah Madison, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.